details coming up. All right, thank you, John. Three members of the same family murdered in cold blood. The suspect did not know the victims, so why were they killed? The bodies were found in Lafayette County. Deputies haven't even said how the victims were killed. The manhunt for the suspect ended in Waukesha, where he grew up. And that is where Tom Murray joins us live. Tom. Well, Mike Carroll, this is the Willow Park Apartments, and police arrested Jaron Keister here last night. Records show that he may have a relative here. Jaron grew up not far from where I'm standing right now. Many have told us that uh, he has been in trouble with the law before, but nothing like this. Homicide suspect Jaron Keister posted this photo to his Facebook page just last week. Many have told us he has an interest in mixed martial arts. Now the 31-year-old is in custody for the murders of three senior citizens more than twice his age, then fleeing back to his hometown of Waukesha in this blue pickup that authorities say belongs to one of the victims. What, what relationship he had with those people, I could have no, really no idea. The family never spoke of any connection no, or visiting not, that not area? At all, not at all. Dave Jones lived next door to the Keister family in Waukesha for decades and says he did not get along with his neighbors. He says the suspect's parents recently divorced and abandoned this property. You said you've seen law enforcement come to this oh, house Oh, yes, before. many times, many times. Today's TMJ4 obtained these charging documents from Jaron Keister's past. In 2002, Keister faced charges for beating a teenager with a club so severely that the victim needed staples in his head. He was sentenced to jail time and ordered to undergo anger management training. Now, Keister comes from a big family. One friend tells us Jaron Keister is second oldest of six brothers. We have reached out to the Keister family for comment, but so far have not heard back. Live tonight in Waukesha, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Tom. Now, the fact the suspect did not know the victims is raising a lot of questions, mainly why did he do this? Cody Hoyo continues our team coverage from Lafayette County. Cody. Investigators in this small county now have their hands full trying to process this triple murder investigation. The Waukesha man spotted with one of the victim's pickup trucks is in jail here in Darlington tonight. But the details of this crime are still a mystery. A day later, roadblocks are still in place around the Thorson's Wyota farmstead. Police presence heavy in a neighborhood that usually sees little trouble. This situation is unbelievable and surreal. Pastor Luke Smetters knew Gary, Chloe, and Dean Thorson, who were killed this weekend. He tells me the family is still coming to grips with what happened. They're still responding to a lot of questions regarding the investigation to the authorities. Uh, and in, in, in addition to responding to all of those questions, they are still, they're beginning the grief process. What neighbors don't know is why the prime suspect, Jaron Keister, was so far from his Waukesha home. Greene County deputies issued a missing persons alert after they found his car and clothes along a nearby road a day before the crime. Farmer Dean Jorgensen grew up with the victims. Just good people. I can't believe it and I can't figure out why. This is a crime this small community still can't shake. And while folks will go back to their farming, they're hoping for some sort of answer soon. It's just hard to believe that something like this could happen. You know, things seem like this happened in the city, not out in the country. The Lutheran Church in Wyota has scheduled a prayer vigil for the Thorson set for later this week. Keister has yet to go through court, but we're told that could happen as soon as tomorrow. In Lafayette County, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Cody, and we'll have more on this story tonight on Live at 10. Well, an outdoor fire.